Well, it happened. It happened for Pepe, guys. We have to talk about what's going on here because we knew we were going to get a break out or a potential break down. And right now we're seeing the break down happen right now. So let me bring myself uh, back over here and you can kind of see this chart holistically. We've been talking about what? Consolidation, consolidation. And then what happens? We either get a breakout or a breakdown. Well, we got a breakdown. And we went all the way uh, down here and spiked down to that 15 level like we did way back on uh, Monday, which was uh, May 8th, right? Just like we did on Monday. And now we're trying to hold the line here and bounce back. So Pepe's down to that 16 level. The technical indicators are not showing uh, some good signs right now. But again, we don't have a ton of data there. So how can we reverse here? And Somewhat here, we are still consolidating, right? As long as we don't break this current level that we're at, we are still consolidating, right, to some degree. So we'll see because this video is going to come out a little bit later. If we do happen to break this, and you're watching this later, if we happen to break this to the downside, look out because we could see some falling, uh, some deep falls into the price action there. And But here's the thing. If you still are, are a long-term holder and a long-term believer of what Pepe's building, it opens up some great opportunities. Now, again, you know we could see Pepe's market cap down one billion since the Binance listing. It's proven to be thus far a buy the rumor, sell the news event. But here's the thing: Pepe's listed on Binance. Okay, so eventually, when crypto comes back, when you know money starts flying in here to all the altcoins and it's not just a meme coin rally pepe's well positioned in my opinion to go up because it's listed on some major exchanges now and it's a household name it's becoming that at least right at least in the eyes of people in crypto already but right now we're seeing a pullback in a lot of the meme coins because simply there was no other capital there's no other money flowing into the markets right now it was only meme coins right I do think this pullback could be momentarily, uh, you know, could could be a moment in time rather, and then we could see money start pouring back in. But Bitcoin dialing back a little bit, Ethereum, things are getting boring again. But remember, things don't stay boring very long in cryptocurrency, and that goes especially for meme coins, right? So we're going to get some explosions. We're going to get some capital moving around. We'll see if it comes flowing back into Pepe. And I do think some of it will. Now, Pepe's down 62% from its all-time high as investors take profits off the table. But can you blame them? I mean, can you blame this at all? I don't think so. The crypto coins market cap is a little bit over $600 million right now, down 62% from the $1.67 billion it reached on May 5th. That was Monday. Uh, actually, no, that was... Uh, even late last week. So the latest market cap drop comes after Pepe almost lost almost 16% in the last 24 hours. And we could see that obviously here on the chart. We got that breakdown uh, instead of that breakout. We were looking for that breakout. We got that breakdown right here. You could see that's where we broke uh, down well below our 20-day moving average. RSI started to fall. And now we see if we can hold this line, this very, very important line, and bounce off it. We do have a possible retracement up flashing here just moments ago on my trading algorithm signal. So that is a good sign. This thing is relatively uh, strong at predicting these uptrends and downtrends. Usually I would say about 80 85% of the time it's pretty accurate. So uh, Pepe down right now, but I don't think it's out. I certainly don't think it's out, but right now I'm a watcher on the sidelines. I am holding a small amount, but uh, I did go ahead and take most of my profits off the table. I'm holding a very small amount now left, and uh, we'll see because I might have another entry. I might enter another position, but uh, Pepe for me was always a trade at first, and then we'll see kind of where the dust settles. So again, right now, sitting on the sidelines as an investor, but we're going to cover the news for you. We're bringing up to speed on everything Pepe everything crypto so make sure you guys are locked in by hitting that subscribe button down below appreciate you guys as always hopefully you got some value out of this video one thing about me guys i'm not a hype guy i'm gonna be giving it to you straight good bad or ugly that's what you can always get right here on the channel appreciate you guys we'll see you in the next video take care